Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, well, uh, my name is Tamur and I talk about cloud security and artificial intelligence. And I also offer cyber security career advice to help you navigate, you know, the ever changing job landscape, especially when it comes to cloud security and AI. Now, today I want to talk about cloud security. And the good news is the like the demand for cloud professionals is really rising. So the, the market is good. The market is going up, even though the job market is a little bit wobbly right now. But because of the importance that security has, and as more and more companies are moving towards the cloud, so businesses are quite serious about cloud security. So this is the recent data which you can see here that a lot of companies are now moving to cloud-based services, the vast majority, and the market is expected to go up and up, okay? A lot of governments are also moving towards the cloud. So there are a lot of factors by, because of which the cloud security market is growing like this. You know, there's an increasing demand for cloud services and regulatory requirements. A lot of companies just want to pass on their issues, the compliance issues to the cloud, right? And the, like the cloud security market itself is maturing very quickly, as you can see by 2032. So you have like a very nice, uh, what do you call, demand for cloud-based services, which is nice to see, especially if you're in the cloud security market, the demand for identity access management, data loss prevention, SIEM, business continuity disaster recovery. So believe me, the cloud security market is not going anywhere. It's a very, very good field to be in if you are like, if you want to future proof your career. So this is what I want to talk about today. In today's video, we're going to talk on to the top cloud security skills you should be focusing on in 2023. So cloud security has always been important. And as technology is advancing, the need for cloud security professionals is higher than ever. You hear all about AI, right? Artificial intelligence. Believe me, nobody wants to run AI models in-house. They will always move towards a cloud-based model when it comes to AI. So that's why the cloud computing is going to become more and more popular, more and more uh, ingrained within tech stacks. And before we start, I want to clarify one thing. I'm going to focus on the year 2023, but these skills are timeless and they will remain relevant for many, many years to come. Okay. So this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Before we start, please do like and subscribe to this channel, guys. If you found this video to be useful, please do share this video as it will really help the channel to grow. So without delay, let's jump into the first thing. The first skill you should have is cloud security frameworks. You need to have a good grasp of frameworks like ISO, NIST, CIS benchmarks, because these frameworks will provide you the starting point. You know, they'll give you guidelines, standards, best practices on how to secure cloud environments, right? There are many, many standards available. Like you can start with the ISO 27017. It's an information security framework for companies that want to use cloud services. So cloud service providers need to comply with these standards because it helps to keep their cloud services secure, right? And if you've ever worked in ISO 27001, it's like that. It's part of that family only, 27017, okay? And uh, what do you call uh, Companies that want to get compliant with this, it's a very, very good framework to start. It gives you a very good guidance. It's uh, platform agnostic. It's not telling you about AWS or Azure or Google. It gives you the best practice standards you can apply anywhere. Okay, and if you want to focus more on the technology benchmarks, you can go with the CIS, the Center for Internet Security. They have foundational cloud security benchmarks. Okay, they work directly with the cloud service providers and they create best practice benchmarks, baselines, which you can use. Okay, and with these cloud guidelines, you can use them to implement like a baseline framework of security. And these are focused on the technology itself. So you have, you can go with the AWS one. Okay, oh, sorry. You can go with the AWS one, you can go with the Azure one, you can go with the Google one. It's really up to you. So these are completely free. I would recommend downloading them and getting a good understanding. Okay, what else is there? The next skill I would definitely recommend is infrastructure as code. A very, very important skill, guys. Nobody in the cloud, they do it uh, like they launch infrastructure to the console, okay? It is all done through infrastructure as code. All your infrastructure is captured within code templates like CloudFormation or Terraform. And they are completely free guidelines available, free tools available. Go to the Terraform website. You will get an awesome tutorial on how to start with infrastructure as code, okay? You can start a free Azure subscription, Google subscription, AWS, and start playing around with infrastructure as code. If you don't like coding, well, good news is you have now things like ChatGPT. You can literally go to ChatGPT, tell it to, like spin up like a infrastructure as code and explain to you you can even tell it to explain to you line by line what the line means so i've done it myself it's absolutely amazing to do start learning through this and i believe me 
infrastructure as code is a very, very important skill to have. You cannot just rely on third party tools. You need to understand how infrastructure as code works. Okay. Third point is cloud security tools. Now, familiarity with cloud, popular cloud security tools and other essential skill. I mean, you have native cloud tools like, like AWS Security Hub, Azure, Defender, Google's Cloud Security Command Center, and you have open source tools. Okay. If you don't have like you can't afford them, or you, you can't then they are completely free tools like Cloud Exploit by Aqua. It's an open source project. It's designed to allow like detection of cloud security. It's like a cloud security posture management solution. Okay, completely free. You can use it for AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and it'll run a few tests and it'll give you a full report. Okay, it's pretty cool. Uh, you have Prowler. If you have like ever used Prowler, it's an open source security tool. Again, it can, you can use it with AWS. Google Cloud, Azure. I have a complete video on that. You can take a look on my channel. It'll come you. It has hundreds of controls covering CIS, NIST, uh, CISA, HIPAA, GDPR, pretty much everything you want. It'll be there. It's an awesome tool to use. Okay. So that's another tool. And uh, apart from that, tools like CASBs. So I have many videos on that explaining how the clouds are access, uh, cloud access security broker works. You know, in US Proxy, it gives you a cloud DLP. And it will tell you how these things work, how to implement cloud DLP, how to sp stop data leakage within the cloud. This is another skill to have. So step by step, build up your knowledge. Once you have that, another very important thing to know is DevOps and Agile. Uh, I, you will be, you will note I did not mention DevSecOps. I mentioned DevOps and Agile because I've seen a lot of people. What they do is they make a mistake. They jump directly into DevSecOps and they don't really understand what DevOps is, what Agile is. They, they jump directly to DevSecOps. So DevOps, particularly in the cloud, is very, very important to know because you need to understand how it works, how the DevOps cycle works, how security gets integrated into software development lifecycle, okay? And you need to know concepts of Agile, like how epics happen, what are the sprints, how do you create a backlog? A lot of times in the cloud, people do not know these things and they're not able to communicate with the cloud teams, okay? So this is very, very important how Agile breaks tasks down into smaller, smaller increments with deliverables, with the backlog, how the collaboration happens between the development and the operation teams. This is very, very important if you're serious about cloud security. After that, I want to talk about application security which is a very, very important skill to have. I don't mean just running the code reviews. Okay, guys, you need to understand Docker. You need to understand Kubernetes, how the Kubernetes nodes work, how serverless works with Lambda. This is a very important skill to have. A lot of times what people I've seen the mistake they make, what they do is they buy a third party solution. Okay. Like for a static application or dynamic application security, what they do is, and they run it and they get the report and they send it to the IT team. And when the IT team challenges, they say, Hey, I don't agree with these findings. They're not able to challenge. Why? Because they don't understand the underlying security. They don't understand the code. Okay. You need to understand Docker. You need to spin it up yourself, run a few containers. You need to understand Kubernetes, how the nodes work, how the HCD works, how Kubernetes does that orchestration. You need to understand Lambda, how the event-driven architecture works within Lambda, how that's, you can integrate security within it. Don't jump directly to a third-party management solution. Try to do a simple, simple uh, script, simple programs so that you get a better understanding. Then what will happen is you'll be able to jump down to the security issues much better. Please do not be lazy. Don't just dump down, jump and offload these things to a third party solution if you're serious about cloud security. And the last skill, very, very important is multi-cloud security. So multi-cloud security is becoming more and more popular. More and more organizations are moving towards a multi-cloud strategy where they don't have one cloud provider, okay? They have multiple cloud providers. You need to understand the security considerations of this approach, okay? How do you manage it? How to manage and monitor security across different cloud platforms and the tools which can help with this. I have multiple videos on this on my profile, but you need to understand. So these were the two the skills, guys, you should really focus on into 2023 if you're serious about cloud security and beyond. I mean, beyond 2023 also. And the last and most important skill I always mention, uh, uh, please, more than anything, you'll see I did not mention anything about certifications here. I have many videos on certifications. You can focus on that, but do that afterwards. First, build up your skills. Hands-on is always better than a certification. Okay, none of these things you need a certification to do. Get hands on with infrastructure as code. Get hands on with DevOps, with cloud, CSED pipelines, Docker, Kubernetes, Lambda, multi cloud.
crawler, cloud splite, all of those things to learn them, you do not need to know like a certification. Okay, do that, but please get hands on skills with these things. Okay, and you will see definitely you'll have a long and very good career in front of you when it comes to cloud security. So that was it, guys. I hope you got a better understanding. Continuous learning in cloud security is the key to success and it helps you to stay up to date. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful for exploring cloud security skills. Do give a thumbs up and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, uh, thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.